guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome and if you're back mwah, mwah, kisses for those of you who don't know me i am rosalyn or for short rosie and today i'm going to share my natural hair care routine the things that i do and use to maintain my hair everything that i'm gonna be talking about i'm gonna leave it in the description box and some of these things you most likely have at home and i wanted to share my hair care routine after many girls commented that they wanted me to do this video and share what i do so here it is so let's begin so i just want to start by saying that everything that you eat that goes into your body is really important for your hair, nails, and skin. So as a vegan, I eat a lot of fruits and veggies and grains, nuts, and seeds, and protein that's plant-based. So if you wanna have healthy hair, then just make sure that you are eating every single day fruits and veggies and make sure you drink plenty of water because that's gonna help with your hair. So getting that out of the way, I'm gonna start my natural hair care routine. So this is my hair. It's still short from the last, one of my most popular videos here where I show my long bob haircut tutorial. And I have cut my hair a few times and I always do different things. Sometimes I do the V-shape haircut or all even. So I have been doing that. I haven't gone back to the hair salon since my bad experience that I did talk about on that video. So my hair today is without adding anything to it this is how it is and i wash my hair every two to three days so it depends if i'm not sweaty then i don't wash it on that day i do wait a couple of days but since i'm home most of the time then i don't mind um one thing that i do between the second or third day then i do hairstyles to keep my hair up but most of the time i like to have my hair loose like now and one of the things that i do when i brush my hair is I use one of these, a detangler brush, because this doesn't pull your hair hard. It's so fast and quick to get rid of your tangles, and this is what I use before I take a shower. I like taking a shower at nighttime. I know some people like doing that in the morning, but I'm not one of those in the morning. I'm so sleepy, I don't think about taking a shower. So I only do it at nighttime. And I always use cruelty-free shampoos. I don't have a specific brand that I use because I always try new shampoos. Um, the one that I'm currently using is this one by She Moisture and it has coconut. I love everything with coconut and I just love how great this smells. It's amazing and I like how this hydrates my hair. It leaves my hair soft and clean. And another product that I have used in the past is Bird's Bees. This is the conditioner in mango, but I used to have the shampoo, which I don't have anymore. And I have used in the past also Palmer's Coconut Shampoo. This is the conditioner, but the shampoo I don't have anymore. So as far as the care for my hair, I like using oils. So I either use coconut oil or virgin olive oil, but most of the time I like using coconut oil. And what I like to do, I take about a teaspoon of the oil and I rub it all over my hair starting from the roots to the ends and I leave that on like for about an hour while I see videos or I read a book or write. But if you wanted to penetrate more into your hair, then I recommend that you apply it apply the oil to your hair and then put on a cap and you can leave it on overnight when you sleep and then in the morning you can wash your hair and this is something that I like to do about once a week or every two weeks and there's another oil that I recently discovered that my sister talked to me about it and it's an oil that has like five oils in one and it has great reviews I'm really considering buying that one since everything that I read about it is so great. So um, everything, I'm going to leave it in the description box. And also everything is going to be on my blog if you want to check it out. And the one that I have at this moment is this one, which is a leave-in conditioner by MOA, which has Melaleuca, Omega-3, and Argan. And this is something that I have talked about before and I just love how simple and easy it is to apply it on your hair. It's in a spray form and all you do is spray it and it smells great. I love it. So this is another great option. Okay, so as far as coloring my hair, 
I haven't bought the coloring boxes that you can get at drugstores. I did before, but it's been many years since I don't do that anymore. And instead, I color my hair with veggies. So in one of my videos, I shared how you can use veggies. It could be tea or nuts, and you can use that for your hair. So I like using beets, and right now you don't see the difference on my hair since I'm inside. But when I'm outside in the sun, um, then you can really see the difference. You can kind of see like highlights of red or like light brown. So I'm gonna leave some pictures of how it looks like and I just love the results and it's something that if you want to see the color more noticeable then you have to do it many times but with one time I like the way it looks okay so as far as hot tools I always let my hair air dry I don't use blow dryers during weekdays but on weekends I like straining my hair most likely on Friday that way I feel ready for the weekend in case we go out or if I take pictures then I feel ready and I have my Chi flat iron and the blow dryer that I have is the Elchin 3900 and like I said these are tools that I use about once a week and so sometimes when I know that I'm gonna be straightening my hair then I blow dry it first with this one and then I straighten my hair with this sometimes then I just use this but the main difference is that when I use this one it leaves the hair so shiny so soft I love love the results when I use this but if I want to do it quickly and I'm in a hurry then I just use this but if not I just like using both and if you're gonna be using hot tools, just make sure to protect your hair. And the one that I have now is this one by She Radiance. And it's a protection smoothie. And I used to have the Tresemme, which is really popular. And a lot of people use that one. I believe they started selling their products in China. And in China, they test on animals. So I stopped using that one. That's why I use this one. This is the one that I have at the moment. But I'm always trying new things. So other things that I do, and these are just extras, um, I have this rose water, which I talked about in one of my favorites video, and I just love how lovely it smells, and this is something you can use on your skin, your hair, you can even drink this, but this is something that you can do at home. And I also did a video on that in case you want to check it out. It's so simple and quick instead in case you prefer to do it. But if not, this is the one that I like for being organic. And then another thing that we like using is this styling milk by She Moisture. And I just love how it smells. And I use this when I have my hair like now. And I want to have that feeling like if my hair is wet, then I use this one. And this is like our third or fourth bottle that my boyfriend and I use. So it's great. We love this. And in case we ever need a gel, then I have this one by John Masters Organics. And this has vanilla and tangerine. And it smells amazing. It smells so great. I love it. And this is a product that I barely use, but I have it just in case I need it. Then I love using this one. And it keeps your hair in place. And the comb that I use is this one, which is made of wood. And I read it's so much better to use wood on your hair because that way it distributes your hair oils. And I just love how it looks and I like how the teeth on this side they're closer and then there's more space on this side so this is what I like to use when I'm straightening my hair okay so that's it you guys I really hope I didn't forget anything in case I did then I'm gonna add that in the blog post so I really hope you have enjoyed this video and that somehow it's helpful for you and I love reading your comments I like reading them and responding to you guys and thank you to everyone that has been subscribing that means a lot so thank you for all the support and if you have liked this video just don't forget to give it a thumbs up thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time kisses bye